Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will look into the scenario in which we continue our restart the civilization series. It's like, really, as you can see. But one interesting thing is one person that I'm going to name him. Let's call him Tapico. That's going to be his name. We'll call him Tapico. Which, he got kicked out of, well, this country. And he was spread over to there to what he was saying to the purplish country. And they were, so they also banned him. So he went north and decided he would make his own country. And he has got lots of followers. Basically what he was doing, he was trying to launch a rebellion. So yeah, him with a bunch of other people that were starting to follow him leave. They go north because it's, you know, they like ice. And then they go island hopping. Eventually, they make it to this island and they find a big mass of land. They haven't really thought much of, but this is a big distance. I mean, it's possible for them to, like, island hop here and this is, like, but they realize it's pretty mountainous here. So they continue their journey south. And him, well, he's about to set up his country. And, like, this area is probably more ideal. With him exploring around this land, with his country, the first North American country being formed. With this being interesting. Because he now has a country across the world with basically no connections. And some of the people like the Arctic air in the north. So, well, a civilization was formed in the north. With news spreading about this new discovery, but it takes like years. And eventually this is a big deal to them. The country here moves down further south. It's basically based around like the farmland in California area. But even then, there's still people who decide to go further south. People are, I guess, are naturally curious. But chances are they'll be getting across here. But keep in mind, only, like, the European nations will have to rediscover it. Like they did in our timeline. With these tribes being pretty close to different areas. Like, that took a much longer time than you would think it would, but yeah. With explorations going down around the African coast, being led by a few of the countries in Africa, although, well, they managed to get all the way to the Cape. And while this area is discovered, Expeditions are made to try to discover this area, but, like, it's not the best areas to try and discover. Not good geography. Pretty much a lot of jungles. With one country starting to expand down into the newly discovered lands. But another country is formed in the far south. Now, I think it's pretty interesting, this series, though. With this country being formed over here. Kind of looks like when the Dutch in our timeline settled these lands. And this nation here moves to this lake and moves over like this. As you can see, they have discovered quite a bit. Except one thing happens. A new country is formed, guys. Who expected this? And... What kind of remind, probably reminds people of Carthage is doing a bit of expansionism. And I'm going to use the same color just because. Or maybe I should use a lighter color. So it's easier to see. With the invasion of this country starting. Nobody expected an invasion. There's only two nations that really have done lots of invasions. And that would include this purple country and the nation to its north. Unaware of what's going on, I guess. With, with the red team not expecting this, but this country invades. It's just starting to look suspiciously like Rome, this nation over here. It's looking suspiciously like Rome. Doesn't mean it is, but it's looking very awfully suspicious. 
Like, did they find out about Rome or something? Like, look, even that nation resembles another nation. Or this nation. Or how about this one? They all resemble something. With a new country forming, with a revolt breaking out, a country in this region is formed. Eventually, after they move in deeper to the territory, many different spots, eventually they make it to the coast, and eventually a peace treaty happens. Which leaves the border looking something like this. And then another revolt happens, seeing the success of this. And they're basically what becomes known as the South Country. Wait. Oh, wait, this is a North Country, I guess you could say. Because there's three areas. With the Purple Kingdom discovering about those discoveries pretty quick. Because right now, let's say the world is in a period of warmer weather, maybe. Or it just got through. Or maybe the people that came after were adapted to this kind of weather. Whatever the reason may be, this country still expands. And as you can see, it's getting pretty strong. And another nation hearing about the expansion, they started expanding too. Violent expansion is what's happening now. Well, this Egyptian-like nation that we can call Egypt because it looks like Egypt. With the blue country deciding to expand too. As you can see, not as many small nations now. But, keep in mind, the Americas are found, so that's pretty significant. With still people exploring. Europe doesn't know about these lands. Whatever they called the continent. But it's seeming like very meaningful that another nation pops up. It starts around British Columbia, Cascadia, and Washington, Oregon, Idaho area, and Alaska area. Basically around these mountains and what's nearby. As they move inland of Canada. So it's getting cold. And then in this area, I know there might be colors repeated, but if they're across the world, like, it's not European colonization yet, so it's not a big deal. And it does become one. But anyway. With these being, like, let's say the American empires, let's say it's more stable than the rest of the world. Or is it an idealistic area? With... One humongous change happening. The breakup of this kingdom. With this area having became its own state and not had any land in there. Just so, well, yeah. And another nation escapes. It's located over here. Now, the orange nation needs to remain significant. Now, this orange nation loses another area. They're losing a lot, as you can tell, but that's because they have a collapse. And this is what a collapse can look like. And yeah, there's lots of collapses in the series. Lots of lots of stuff. There's lots of that empire thing. With this, like, empire per aqua team expanding even further... But it ends up in a period of peace. With not only them expanding, but someone else. This country. With them not getting what they wanted complete. They managed to wipe out this nation just about. But they agreed to a peace treaty because they only take what they really want. And they may have even got land they didn't need. But this nation is becoming... Well, probably one of the strongest. Because there's like a few strong. This one, that one, that one. In this area. Over here, it's these two. That one's strong. That one's strong. Here, it's these countries. With the nation that I was talking about, the green team. Becoming on two parts of the world. Literally. Russia was once on three continents. Which is not impressive for an empire, but anyways. 
as they set up the settlement over here. This is hundred probably a long time since they actually discovered the land. And Japan meets up with this nation. They're like, what's a nation doing all the way up here? With Japan not figuring out their new land, because they decide to keep that secret. To allow them to expand in their friends. Why would they give up those secrets? With some people moving up around the Gulf. With this nation moving further in and down. With this area being hard to discover because it's like all desert. Oh wait, that's like farmland in the north area. But anyways. With this being what's known about North America. And as you can tell, well... Yeah. Probably one of the most significant videos so far. That's all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Wild Mamper out. But not until you subscribe. Bye, guys!